Imagine you are five and a half years into the future. It's 2029. The streets are gushing with a gentle April breeze as you stroll through a quiet night. Suddenly, your attention is captured by a celestial sight. It's a shooting star of dazzling brightness that is streaking across the sky with an urgency that demands notice. Now, for many, this would be a moment to make a quick wish, following the age-old tradition that accompanies the fleeting streaks in the sky. Others, however, might be reaching for their phones, eager to capture this rare interstellar visitor and make a social media buzz with viral snapshots and videos. But what if we told you that this shooting star isn't just simply passing by? It's planning an uncomfortably close encounter with our planet. What if it's going to come close enough to make even the geostationary satellites orbiting Earth seem like distant observers? Now the shooting star suddenly becomes a dangerous asteroid. One that is scary enough to be called life-threatening. One that might well hit our planet and take us to our doomsday. Welcome to Universe Revealed. In this video, we are going to talk about an asteroid that is currently hurtling towards Earth and will reach 10 times closer than the Moon by April 2029. Oh, that's pretty close, isn't it? This asteroid is called 99942 Apophis. Now, the burning question here is, is it going to hit Earth? Will the human race face the dinosaur extinct move? Will history repeat itself? Let's find out. Our solar system is full of celestial objects that are not limited to planets and their moons. These are rocks traveling in space and are classified as meteoroids, asteroids, or comets depending on size, composition, and orbit. Amongst these celestial objects, the ones that pass close to Earth's orbit are known as near-Earth objects. One such near-Earth object is 99942, Apophis. Let's uncover the story behind Apophis and where it came from. Back on June 19, 2004, a trio of astronomers named Roy Tucker, David Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi were making observations with their telescopes at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Tucson, Arizona. They stumbled upon a space rock, one that would soon be known as Apophis. Though their telescope time got cut short after just two days due to technical and weather issues, a team in Australia at the Siding Spring Observatory spotted Apophis again later that year. Considering it as a major threat, the asteroid was named after a demon serpent that represents evil and chaos in ancient Egyptian mythology, Apophis. Hence the name, Asteroid Apophis. Apophis is not an average asteroid. It's a time traveler from the early days of the formation of our solar system. Born about 4.6 billion years ago, this asteroid originated in the bustling asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Due to the gravitational force of giants like Jupiter, Apophis' orbit kept changing over a million years, and so the space rock definitely didn't settle for the average asteroid lifestyle. Currently, Apophis orbits the Sun closer to Earth, and therefore this asteroid has now become a near-Earth asteroid. The most fascinating part here is that Apophis is shaped like a peanut. In fancy words, it has a bilobed appearance. Just so you know, this is quite a common discovery for astronomers, as most of the near-Earth objects larger than 660 feet or 200 meters in diameter have a peanut-like shape and appearance. But it's not just the peanut shape that the astronomers are investigating. Scientists and researchers are on a mission to solve the mystery of Apophis' twirl and twine. By understanding the asteroid's rotation rate, they will figure out how fast it's spinning and the axis it's spinning around known as its spin state. If you're wondering why this information is relevant, it's because this data is the key to understanding how Apophis will interact with Earth's gravitational field in 2029. The encounter might change its spin state and even cause asteroid quakes. With an estimated size of about 1,100 feet or 340 meters, this space rock is currently on its way to Earth at a speed of 2.894 miles per second. That's an unimaginable speed. Despite the smaller size, hitting with a speed as tremendous as this one would surely change our planet's fate. But wait, is Apophis really hitting Earth? Are we really in danger? It is quite true that Apophis rocketed to space stardom as a potential troublemaker, with astronomers raising alarm bells about its super close encounter with Earth. And it wasn't just the year 2029 that posed risk and threat. Astronomers predicted that Apophis will make a close approach in the year 2036 as well as 2068, with a potential risk of an impact. But thanks to the recent observations of Apophis, the risk of a collision in 2029, as well as worrisome encore in 2036, have both been gracefully ruled out. But what about the year 2068? Well. Up until March 2021, a lingering shadow of uncertainty hung about Apophis hitting Earth in 2068. 
but when Apophis made a distant flyby of Earth on March 5, 2021, the tables were turned completely. Astronomers seized the moment and made powerful radar observations to fine-tune their understanding of Apophis' orbit around the Sun and its trajectory with absolute precision. And thanks to their calculations, the once faint possibility of a 2068 impact got dissolved as well. Are you wondering how they arrived at these calculations of Apophis? Well, we got you. So the astronomers used a 70-meter radio antenna at the Deep Space Network's Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex near Barstow, California to precisely track Apophis' motion. Though Apophis made a close encounter with Earth that was quite recent, it was still 10.6 million miles away. Kudos to the advanced space technology. Astronomers were able to obtain precise data about the distance of Apophis to an accuracy of about 150 meters, or just 490 feet, even from a distance of 10.6 million miles. It was this campaign that finally helped rule out the entire possibility of an impact. Therefore, the 2068 impact is also now a distant mirage. In fact, the calculations of astronomers have assured that there is no risk of an impact for at least the next 100 years. So the bottom line is that on April 13th, 2029, Apophis will pass by Earth at a distance of less than 20,000 miles from our planet's surface, but will not hit the surface. Whew, that's a huge sigh of relief. Now Apophis will be approaching super close in 2029, and scientists at NASA have the rare opportunity to study this peanut beauty like never before. No doubt, they want to make the most of it. But how? To study near-Earth asteroids like Apophis, NASA launched an ambitious asteroid sampling mission called OSIRIS-REx. Wondering what that name means? Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, and Security, Regolith Explorer make up OSIRIS-REx. This mission was launched on September 8, 2016 by NASA with the goal of reaching another near-Earth asteroid named Bennu. The spacecraft mission was to collect samples from the asteroid surface and come back to Earth. And guess what? The mission was a super success. On September 24, 2023, OSIRIS-REx returned with the precious samples of asteroid Bennu. But do you know what was the best part of the mission? Instead of landing on Earth, the spacecraft safely dropped off Bennu samples in a sample return capsule and went back wandering in space. That's because the adventures of OSIRIS-REx did not end there. NASA decided to redirect the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft towards asteroid Apophis and get some cosmic spotlight for the 2029 show. After grabbing a piece of asteroid Bennu in 2023, the spacecraft is now heading straight to study Apophis. The mission has now been renamed OSIRIS Apophis Explorer, or simply OSIRIS Apex. OSIRIS Apex is already on its way to the Close Encounter event in 2029. But how is the spacecraft going to study Apophis? OSIRIS Apex will enter the orbit around Apophis after the asteroid makes a flyby in 2029. Once that happens, astronomers on Earth will get an exclusive front row seat to Apophis. But OSIRIS-REx isn't just chilling in the orbit for a spectacular view of cosmic sightseeing. The spacecraft has got real business down there on the asteroid surface. OSIRIS Apex will fire up its thrusters to shake loose some dust and tiny rocks from Apophis' surface to study them. Now that is some next level space action that is going to happen, isn't it? And the cherry on top of the cake is that during the 2029 close approach, Apophis will be visible to observers on the ground even with the naked eye in the Eastern Hemisphere. So yeah, Apophis is indeed a special shooting star, but no hazardous asteroid. That's a win-win situation for all of us, right? Mark your calendars, because April 13th, 2029 is going to be a celestial treat for astronomers as well as passionate sky gazers. No fancy telescopes or binoculars needed. All you need are just curious eyes that are hungry to uncover the wonders of the cosmos. Are you excited to witness the celebrity appearance of Apophis? Well, we surely are.